Okay, hello everyone. This video was created to help solve this issue. Samsung Magician does not detect the 980 Pro driver. Well, we don't have to applause just yet. Anyway, he bought this driver because you hear about all the speeds, said it, it's great, and you want to uh, install this driver and put your operating system on this because it's really fast and it is even though I had this problem I did a bench test and I got great speed and everything but what is the problem well the problem is okay the Samsung does not detect the driver is what it stated and so you go to this issue and uh, you've gone to YouTube, you've gone to the farm, and you try all this stuff. You check your BIOS, your BIOS is okay. You change the slot, that even, you moved it to a different slot perhaps, and that even made things worse. Who knows, but you then, you, you need to move back into, this, into the correct slot. And you, but again, you tried all this stuff and nothing worked. And you still have the same problem, not detected. Problem is you installed Windows 10 on it just fine, and again you don't you don't realize you have the problem until you install the Samsung's Magician software. So uh, you know one of the first things we do, of course, when we have a driver problem, is check the driver. You know we got no issues with the driver, no explanation. The driver is there. The only thing is you might think it's a Windows issue but Windows put their driver on there that you do a Google search and uh, you get directed to Samsung and you might even have found this driver and you want to try it and you still got the same not it doesn't detect it what you need to realize is Samsung does not make a driver for this for this it's hardware they do for the other ones nine 17 and 960 I believe and everything but not for this it would have solved a whole lot of problems if they just created their own driver but anyway get back to solving the problem you check here under information you got the selected drive corrector this is the actual problem it's not the actual driver for the hardware it's actually this driver with the controller okay this is the one that's causing the problem uh, it might be different in your case depending on your motherboard and everything like that so we want to change this what we want pick our driver what we want is just the standard driver Install the standard driver, close, and then you're going to have to reboot. I'm going to say no for now because I'm I got to stop this video, and we'll be right back to show you how to solve the problem. Okay, we're back now just uh, double check make sure uh, there's nothing wrong nothing wrong there and the controller and of course we got that and now we got the standard controller it's all no nothing showing up as an error now let's take a look at the position here and that's not showing up in yellow we have no indication of information with the red dot saying that uh, we have a problem and everything so it's all working fine you can applaud now anyway have a nice day